Hi, what I'm going to do in this video is show how my son and I use Super Memo, which you can Google, um, to uh, review the information that um, we've learned in our homeschool sessions. I'm his main homeschool teacher, and um, I think Super Memo is it's a fascinating tool, and um, my hat's off to uh, Piotr Wozniak um, and uh, everybody else who has been using and developing spaced repetition, which we have just discovered. And apparently Piotr says that um, we're rather unusual in that we're using it with a relatively young child. And um, so maybe this will give you an idea of some things that, that um, you could do uh, with your child to solidify um, information that you've read or picked out up some other way. Um, all of the questions here um, are based on things that we've read and studied. So here goes. He's not going to look at the camera. Um, he's six years old and uh, he's going to show you how he's um, learned a whole bunch of stuff using Super Memo. <laughs> He's very excited about Super Memo. All right. Um, all right, uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to use Alt F11 for a completely random question. Who were the Moriscos? They were, uh, let's see. Um, the only thing that I know about that question is that they revolted. They revolted, yeah, but do you don't remember anything about them? Islamic Moors. Islamic Moors. Who lived in Spain. Right. They but, later revolted. Right, that's it. Islamic Moors of Granada who converted possibly forcibly to Christianity. They later revolted 16, uh, 1569 to 71. Okay, very good. Well, let's try another one. Followers of the Cuban religion of Santeria hold the blank tree to be sacred. Hold the Saiba tree to be, to be sacred. Right. Worshippers place offerings around the tree's roots. The Saiba, he says. Oh. Yeah, I think it's actually Saiba, but you're right. That's it. Yep. Excellent. That's it. Um, so I'm going to call that excellent. So you grade the, the, uh, the, I guess, the confidence and the rapidity of the response. Um, and then it decides how soon to show the next item. All right, so let's see here. We're going to go Alt F11 again. Define laborious. For example, a laborious task. Hard to do. Hard to do. All right, fine. Needing effort to the point of exhaustion, especially physical effort. Now this, I I uh, I grade the the um, uh, vocabulary items very um, leniently, so I'm going to call this one good even though you didn't really give me much detail. That means very strictly. Oh, oops. Random. Okay. Oh, this is actually not supposed to be in there. Okay. What was the special new method of getting knowledge that began in the Renaissance? Mm, ah, the scientific method. The scientific method it is. Correct. And then, well, we're not going to read about that. Okay. When it is 5 p.m. dinner time, Eastern time, which we in Ohio use, what time is it Pacific time, which Grandma uses? Mm. Pacific time. Ah, 2 p.m. Subtract 3 hours, because 5 minus 3 is 2, right? Right. You got it. Okay. <laughs> All right. How many states seceded from the Union to form the Confederate States of America? Jefferson Davis. Yeah, he was the, pr the the president, but how many states seceded from the Union? Uh, mm. We haven't had that one a long time. Don't know. Eleven. Eleven. So I'm going to call that one uh, no answer. No answer. All right, here we go. Fill in the blanks. 12, 15, 18. <sighs> I, he does this sometimes. He just outs with the answer before I can even say the question. Mm -hmm. Fill in the blanks. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. That's All right. what I was supposed to answer. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. In 1497, Blank sailed in the Matthew with 20 men and discovered Newfoundland. Jacques Cartier. Jacques Cartier, he says. Are you sure of that answer? Yep. It's wrong. What's the real answer? Mm, Jacques Cartier. No. It's another one. John Cabot. John <laughs> Cabot. So we call that one wrong. All right. What president number was Theodore Roosevelt? Mm, ah, 26. 26. You are correct. One of the important ideas of the Renaissance was to encourage... Hey was to encourage people to Find blank. things out for themselves. Right. Find things <laughs> out for themselves. The world's smallest bird, the blank, lives in Cuba. Uh, it is just... bird. Uh, bird. Uh, whoops, uh, uh, um, bee hummingbird. The bee hummingbird. It is just two inches long. Yes, the bee hummingbird. I'm going to call that good. Next repetition. Oh, whoops, I don't want to do that one. I go Alt F11. All right. What most importantly does your spine protect? Spinal cord. Spinal cord it is. Spinal cord. All right, I'm going to call that excellent. Uh, this should not be in there. Um, okay. Who led some conquistadors in 1532 and <laughs> captured and killed the Inca emperor? Pedro de Valdivia. No, not Pedro de Valdivia. Pedro de Santiago. Pedro de Santiago. No, it's Francisco Pizarro. Bandera. Francisco Pizarro, I'm going to call that right. Ah! All right, all right, it's okay. That's fine. Yeah, I'm not going to get all of them. Suppose you dropped two balls into some clay. Ball one made a deeper dent than ball two. Which ball had the greater potential energy when it started falling? Mm -hmm. ah. Ball one. Ball we just, one. We just had that this morning for review, right? Yeah, well, these are completely, um, these are completely random. Yeah. So I'm going to call that one good. Okay. Sound is a type of wait. energy that travels wait, in... Wait, 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 Sound is a type of energy that travels in what form? Waves is the answer. So that's excellent. Then. All right. Okay. Earwax flows uh, slowly out of your ears all the time. Flushing out? Dirt and germs. Dirt and germs. You are correct. Okay. What is, is a trick you can use to determine whether a word is a common noun or not? Mm. Ah. A or the blank of this place or John's blank. A or the blank of this place or John's blank. That's right. See if it fits in the blank in these phrases. Name one. A or the blank of this place, John's blank. A or the blank. No, this doesn't work for proper nouns like Ted and Paris. Okay, uh, so we're going to call that one good. What does the shorthand of a clock show? Don't clap, hand. Just answer the question. Let's see. Mm, ah. Hours. Hours. Yes, hours. All right. I guess I'll call that good. Okay. Uh, blank are the smallest living things on Earth. Microbes. Oh, microbes. You already answered it. Right. Not viruses. Ah! 